Welcome to Elliot's PT Podcast. I'm here to help you find your balance and live your best life guilt-free. I don't believe there is a one-size-fits-all approach for health and fitness. We're all different and we need to find out what works for us. I'm passionate about helping people make realistic, long-term lifestyle changes that they will stick to and they will take with them forever. I don't believe in crazy diets or short-term fixes. We all need to live and find a perfect balance in diet and exercise that suits our individual needs. I want to help you find your exercise mojo, feel great and achieve wonderful things. Here is Elliot's PT Podcast by Renee Elliott. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Elliot's PT Podcast. Today, I want to share a little bit more about myself. I want you to help you all understand some of the journeys that I have been on and um, probably the journey that I've been on through the last year or so, and hopefully it, something might resonate with some of you that could help you guys. So, you know, we have been through, everybody knows about COVID and what that means and how we've been through all of that, but, you know, it, it has been quite a rough you know, it has been quite a rough period of time with me when, when COVID had hit, you know, there was the, we didn't understand what it was and at the same time that, the, and I know everybody has their own story, you know, of their stresses during the COVID period. Um, but, you know, there, there were stresses from everywhere. So me personally, my husband broke his arm just before we got put into that lockdown. He had to have a surgery on his elbow. Um, that sent him into a real depression um, and, you know, the anxiety from his point of view of, uh, uh, you know, of everybody of what's happening with COVID was, was pretty massive. He wasn't working because he had a broken arm, a broken elbow. And, um, you know, I run my own business. So I wasn't sure how that was going to pan out. Fitness seems to be the first thing that people seem to drop when, um, you know, so I, I wasn't sure how that, you know, so there was all that worry during that period of time. So there was lots of lots of stress. I noticed within myself, so I'm very aware of habits and all of those things, but during that period I probably started drinking more alcohol than what I had before. So I went to, you know, I was very aware of, you know, what you eat and all of those other things, but we probably started having more alcohol, you know, like a glass of wine or so every night where I hadn't done that before. I also used to run every day, so I ran every day. Then when COVID hit, I had to, I was running classes online, so I was scared because if I ran first in the morning and then I did, because everybody was looking at me, so they were following me, on, and then if I did the classes back to back, so sometimes I'd have four or five hours of classes or things in a row, was scared, I, was, I was scared I would be too sore or too tired. So I, I got out of that habit of running every day. So that had ha- that had happened as well. And then so that happened. Then we obviously had our lockdown and you, all of those things. We went back and went back to normal. And then you know I found it hard. You know I'd lost that habit of the running every morning. And then I found it a bit, little bit harder to to get back up and to do that. So I'd kind of lost that habit. So that happened and then, you know, there's different stresses that continued from COVID and whatever else and life goes on. And I remember this one day looking in the mirror and I was like, I have a full belly. Like, where did that come from? Like, I didn't recognize it at the time. I didn't recognize that I had, I probably hadn't quite recognized that I had stopped that running habit, you know, because I was like, well, I'm exercising, doing all the other things, but, you know, um, and yeah, I remember looking like, you know, looking in the mirror and I was like, where did that come from? Like I just, I, you know, all this weight around my tummy and I was like, you know, what is going on? So that happened and then, um, you know, so then I started to, uh, you know, I've got a very good awareness of my food. So I started looking, you know, going, okay, zip your food in, do this. So I did all those things and did my, you know, was become more aware of my exercise, all of those things. And as time went on, um, you know, nothing really shifted. And I was like, got to this point, I was like, okay, this is not, this this stuff I know and I'm good at and I understand it and this is not working. So what's the next thing? So I went to go see the doctor. I had my bloods all taken just to see if there was any holes or anything there. So I had all that stuff done. I went and saw a doctor and a naturopath, did both of those things. There was some 
things that were, you know, I was deficient in or any of those things. So then went through that path of getting those things fixed. During this same period, my weight kind of stayed the same. So, so going on and then, you know, the naturopath has been talking and we understand that stress is a big factor. And she was like, we need to look at really reducing your stress. So then I then put a focus on, you know, how can I reduce my stress by, you know, I looked at my, you know, what were my main stresses? What were the things that I could control? What were the things I couldn't control? And so I kind of went through this path of eliminating, eliminating and working out things because I, the most thing, and as I get older, the thing that I value more than anything is how I feel. And I wasn't feeling good. And I didn't, I didn't like that. So, so it became actually more important of, of, you know, that I didn't want to get up in the, I didn't want to get up in the morning anymore. I didn't want to get up and run. I just want to sleep. And, you know, I was waking up tired and I just, I just knew that there was stuff not, not right. And stress is a massive factor. And, you know, so there was stresses. So, so I looked at this and I worked out what I could, could, could change and how I could implement these things. So I started to do it. So I, implemented all those things and time went on and I'm still feeling the same and I was like I started you know meditating and I love meditating like that again made me feel amazing so then I made sure that I always prioritized doing that and and you know again you've learned so much about yourself and understanding but I still I still was feeling this kind of stuck way still feeling flattish and I knew a lot of it was to do with stress and then this one, you know, I'd been and visiting the next track and speaking to her and saying, she, you know, she understood my position and things were at. Anyway, and I just had this big realisation that there was things in my life that were stressful, but I was looking, I was waiting on everybody else to make changes. So I was waiting on people to make changes in order for my life to change. Uh, things to do like with my husband, my kids, uh, you know, and then I realized my family, you know, and I realized I am the only person that can control all of this. <laughs> I'm the only person that can fix me. I'm waiting for, you know, the kids to stop doing this. I'm waiting for my husband to do this. I'm waiting for my family to stop being this way. And I can't, I can't do that because I'm, I'm putting my happiness and my life on hold for all these other people. And, and, and I just was like, I need to do something. <laughs> I need to do something. And, you know, so then when, when I had this realization, I knew I had to work on me and I could only work on me and understanding more about my personality and, and what I do. So I am a people pleaser. You know, I want to do, want to make people happy. So I, my whole life, I've probably just put everybody else first at the detriment of my own happiness. And it was a great, realization that I was you know at the age of 39 I was still doing that so you know so I realized that that's what I was doing and I was doing it I was allowing my kids to walk all over me and and all these other things and I realized I was I was I had these fears and these things that were holding me back so I wasn't then I wasn't doing the things I truly wanted because I was letting those things kind of win so it was it was great realization to go, to go through this process and and realize this and realize that the most important thing I had to do was to work on me. And when I am happy, when I am feeling good about myself and all of those things, then, then it influences my whole family. That was my big realization. And then I started working on me. So I started to go and see somebody. So I, um, had been recommended to go and see, um, Donna, her name was. So I went and saw her and she's from Global Wellness Academy. So I went and saw her. And um, she was able to help me, uh, like she does trauma releasing and um, she helps, she works with you and she was able to help me um, become me again. And I realized in the whole of being, of being, ma of being a mom, running a business, of all of those things, I had really lost myself. I'd lost myself, even though I tell mums all the time about it. <laughs> I had just become um, busy and 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 kept myself busy, and I would come doing all these things to really stop facing what what I what how I was truly feeling and where I was at. So I um so yes, and the thing that I liked 
about seeing Donna is I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to talk. I didn't want to go to a psychologist. I didn't want to sit and talk. That just wasn't, that just wasn't what I wanted to do or what I felt was, for, was would be right for me. I'm very wise. I'm very wise. I, um, I actually studied psychology, uh, only for a year. <laughs> but, you know, I, so I'm very wise and I just, I just didn't feel that was the right path for me and everybody's different. So I, um, so yeah, so I, I went and saw this and then I started really working on me. So I really worked on me and I really had to work on what my priorities were. And I guess letting go of all these things that were holding me back. And I guess deep down, I knew there were things that I had to face. We know we have to face these things. But sometimes you just easier not to quite face it yet and just let it go. That's kind of where I was at. There's this story of a dog and a man moves into the neighborhood and he moves into a neighborhood and his next door neighbor has a dog and the dog's barking. And he's like, oh, you know, it goes on for a few days. So he eventually goes over to the new neighbor, introduces himself and says, you know, oh, your dog's barking, you know. And he's like, yeah, he's sitting on a nail. And he says, Oh my god, he's sitting on a nail, you know, like get him off, I'm like And the owner's like, No, it's not painful enough yet for him. I guess and you know, I guess that was a thing that why do we wait until it gets so painful that we you know, I guess until you totally fall into a hole because we always think we can do it. We always think we can do it. I'll I'll be alright, I'll be alright. But eventually you're not alright. <laughs> you know, you're not alright when you let it build up over such such a long time and and again you know it, it was just circumstance for me it was circumstances it was circumstances and things you know and it probably all stemmed from starting from around the COVID time and I'm sure lots of you have similar stories or thoughts you know so but yeah so I'd let it build up till you know and I'd sat on that now I guess long enough until I became truly miserable and it started really hurting me and I eventually did something about it so what I'm saying to you is, if even one little thing that I've said today resonates with you, stop sitting on the nail. Get off <laughs> and start doing something about it. Start doing something with you, for you, for yourself. Start moving forward, making a change into to doing to, to living the life that the way that you want to. You know, we realise where some in a you know in a lifestyle or in a you know you're in a job or. You know, you're living your life and you don't want to, well, you, you don't get those days back. <laughs> you know, you don't get those days back and it's so important to, to, to really be living life to the fullest and, and how you want to. And, you know, by going to, um, to see Donna and, and through, through, through her and the work that I did with her, I was able to, um, to she, um, aligned your nervous system. So there was things that, I had been holding on to from, from, from when I was a child that I didn't realize. So there's things, so I was able to, uh, you know, like let go of them. Um, and, you know, like those things that were, were weighing on my shoulders were suddenly not weighing on me anymore. I had this, um, you know, this day that I remember so to go and see her, she was 45 minutes away from where I live. So I would drive up, but I, I actually enjoyed the drive because I got, I got to, you know, really think and rethink about, about what had happened during the session or any of those things. And, you know, I was able to, to process it and, you know, and, and some days I came out and I would just cry. <laughs> I would cry. So that's, that's like where I was at. And, and now I, and I knew I was a strong person. I've always been very strong, very, you know, I'm the one that, the glue that keeps everyone together and all of that other stuff. But, um, I'd lost my, I had lost myself and you can be strong, but you can only be strong to work. You know, you can still be strong, but now, now I'm stronger than ever. Now I'm stronger than what I was even before then. And I didn't think I'd get any stronger because I knew, you know, I knew we'd got through all these other things together. But yeah, now, now I'm truly strong. I'm even, I'm even stronger than, than what I thought I could ever be. And, and I feel so clear. I have. You know, and like I said, this one day I was driving back and I just realized, I was like, the weight's gone off my shoulders. And I didn't realize I had this weight on my shoulders. And what I want you guys to recognize is to start recognize if you have any signs between you. If this is you, then, you know, we really want to start doing some stuff 
for yourself. You want to start moving, you know, exercise, food is such an important part, you know, and, you know, start doing something for yourself. Start, start, you know, putting yourself first and working out what is the things that make you feel way because, you know, if you are like me and you're waiting for this to get better or that to get better, it's not going to. Uh, you have to be the one to take charge and take that step forward. And, yep, you're thinking, oh, I see mums all the time. Oh, it'll be when the top, with the perfect timing for the kids. When they get a bit older, I'll do this. You know, but but why put it off? Why not start actually putting yourself first? Why not actually stop yourself? Because it will actually really benefit your kids. And what I see all the time is people say to me, I wish I did this sooner. I wish I started. Why did I not start doing this? Because, you know, when you start exercising and prioritizing yourself, that's what you're teaching your kids to do. You're teaching your kids that that's how, you know, how we should be, not that we should be making ourselves unhappy and, you know, unhappy and just just not doing anything for us. And, you know, that they were the, and even though I know all this stuff, I just got caught. I just got caught in, in a survival trap in a survival trap of just trying to survive each day and through all of that. So, yeah, so if you recognize any of these signs, start to just start to look at what things you can do and what things can fit in your life. And it doesn't have to be any big crazy changes. It can be just going for a walk, doing something for yourself. Like I said, I had to go through, I went through all these stages of, you know, of, you know, reprioritizing exercise, re checking out my food, you know, you know, I'm always, there's not just this one rule, we do it and then it goes there, it's always got to be evolving, so it's always evolving to see, you know, always evolving to see what changes with your life because, you know, we can't just take things for granted, we can't just take that this is how we are and we'll always be this way, you need to really be on looking at it and staying on top of it, but staying on top of it for you because when you feel better and when you feel good about yourself, You'll be you'll be better and all of that for everyone else. It just it just um, you know when you when you know when we're not feeling great, we're more snappy with our children. We're snappy with our husband. You know, like I was able to once I started feeling better within myself, I was able to take a look back and you know I can take a step first before I uh, before I reply or you know reply differently. Where where maybe if I snapped back, that would cause an argument between me. And and Lee. So I was able to work out and really see all those things. And it has changed by by this whole process. I like I said, I feel stronger than ever before. I feel like this weight that I didn't even realise was on my shoulder is gone. And these issues that I that I had, these things that you know were were holding me back, they're gone. They they're gone and I can um outwardly talk about them without getting upset. And I feel, I feel so strong and it has changed my life and it has changed my family's life. And that's what's most important. It really, it was really good to really spend time to reflect and think about what's really, really important to me. And am I living according to those things? And I realized I wasn't, you know, I was again doing everything for everyone else and making myself uh, at the detriment of my own happiness. And so, you know, I've been able to reject myself. Put, put things into place to, so that I'm in alignment of where I want to be. And that's what I want you to, guys to realize for yourself. You know, stop waiting for everyone else to change. You know, only you can take charge of the things and, and anything's possible. Time, time is as quick or as slow as you want it to be. And if, if something's important to you, you can make that time for yourself. So prioritize yourself. Think about, um, you know, do, do you have a similar story to me? Are you feeling stressed? Are you feeling like things are out of control and you don't quite know what to do or you don't quite know where to start? Um, are you feeling lost, you know, but you're feeling like, you know, I'm doing all the right things, but this is not work, but nothing's working for me. Well, if you're feeling that way, come and, and I'm here to help you. <laughs> come and ask me and I can be here to help you. We We are, you know, in the problem solving business and we are here to go through your circumstance and help you work out where you're at. And that's why, you know, or, or start just slowly looking at one thing at a time and, and eliminating them. That's that's exactly what I had to do. I had to start looking at things and eliminating it. Because um and and you know, it was through that process that you learn so much and you become become truly happy within yourself.
So if you know ever anybody that may be feeling this way, they may be feeling lost, they're not quite sure what to do, uh, please share this podcast with them. And, you know, please, if you are sitting there waiting for everything else to change around you, don't wait. Don't be the person that waits till your kids grow up before you start putting yourself first or before you start exercising because start doing it now because you'll only be better for your children. You'll only be better now for them. Don't be that person that keeps putting it off. All right, start putting yourself first. And please, if you have any questions or, um, you know, you would – uh, like some help, please reach out because um, I don't want anyone to get into the hole that I got into and uh, we are here to help. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Elliot's PT podcast. I hope you've been able to find this information of use to you. If you know someone who might be, enjoy this podcast, please share it with them and ensure that you subscribe so you can be the first to know when new podcasts are released. If you have the time to leave a five-star review, that would be amazing and it would be greatly appreciated. If you do so, please screenshot and share onto any of our socials and tag us. Then email the screenshot to hello at elliotspt.com and we will send you a free gift to your inbox. Thanks so much. Have an amazing day. Speak soon.